Hi, I'm Jordan and today we're going to be looking at the SATA Adam 2 and the SATA Adam 2U. So the first thing we'll do is look at the SATA Adam itself. So within the kit, depending on which one you've bought for which gun you've got, you'll get the Adam itself and then you'll get the dock or whichever one you've bought. So for this one, we've got the SATA Mini Jet 4400. So we'll be installing this one into the 4400 along with our Adam. So as you've probably noticed, I've got two docks and I've only got one Adam. That's because once we've fitted the docks onto our guns, we only need one Adam because we can interchange it depending on what gun we're using at different times. So those are the two different docks we've got for our guns. And we've also got the retrofit dock, which means we can put this onto any other gauge what fits at the bottom of our gun. For example, this one here, we're going to change the analog one here to the digital one. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at fitting the Adams to the guns first, and then we'll take a look at the retrofit one after. Okay, so first of all we need our 4400, which we've got a brand new one here which I'm fitting it to. So all we're going to do is take the gun out for now. And we also need our tool. And all we're going to do is remove the air micrometer from the gun and by doing that we need to remove the pin on the side here where my thumb is and we're going to remove that, that way we can get the Adam in. And then we'll pull out the air micrometer itself. So this now becomes unneeded and we're then going to fit the dock for our Adam. So what I normally do first um, is put some SATA grease around the edge just to keep that seal nice and lubed up because we don't want any wear and tear. So we'll just get the lube or grease and all we're going to do is just pop a little bit just around that little seal. And all that is is just to help prevent wear and tear later on down the line really. So make sure that the spring's still inside and it's aligned up properly. And all we're going to do is insert the Adam dock into the gun. It should be fairly easy to be fair. And then what we need to do is make sure that it's aligned inside and you can see straight down just so we can put that pin in. There we go. If it isn't lined up, then your pin won't fully go in and it'll probably hover across the top. That means you just need to turn this until that pin falls into it. But just make sure you don't go try forcing that pin in while it's not located because we don't want to cause damage to the gun. And then all we're going to do is tighten up that little locking pin. Again, if it becomes a bit too stiff, just stop because you don't want to thread it. And there we go, that's the Adam dock fitted to the 4400. And all we need to do now is fit our Adam on. And that just simply slides on. Just like that. And when I'm ready to go, and spray. What I would say is when you're fitting and removing the Adam, make sure the pressure adjustment is not turned and it's on the side because if you go trying to put this on it won't fit. So just make sure that's lined straight and then you can fit it like that. And another thing as well, when you're actually removing the Adam, don't 
go digging your fingers underneath it. It's really soft, you don't need to put much effort to remove it. Simply just place your thumb at the bottom and there we go. And that's fitting the SATA Adam to the 4400. Okay, so now we've actually fitted the Adam to the gun and fitted the docking station, we can look at retrofitting the docks to our normal gauges what go below the gun. So we've just got our normal gauge here and we're going to take the old analog gauge off or the old dial gauge. We'll pop that to one side and what we're going to do is retrofit the Adam dock to this gauge. So all we need to do is pop the Adam dock in And now we've fitted the Adam dock to the gauge, all we need to do is take the cover off and then we can go and insert our Adam. So we can take that off of our gun. And then we can just pop it onto this gauge. So we've now got a electronic gauge ready to go below our gun. So some of you are probably wondering what does the SATA ADAM actually stand for? Well ADAM actually stands for Additional Digital Air Micrometer and the ADAM 2U is the Additional Digital Air Micrometer to U and the U being Universal. Just one more thing to point out, when you're actually using the SATA ADAM gauges or any gauge for that matter, make sure you don't run something silly like 8 bar pressure through your airlines to your spray gun because as you know these gauges are very accurate and they don't want to be run at 8 bar pressure because you're only spraying at 2 bar anyway so make sure your pressures to your spray guns are set to around 3 bar max anyway because you're not going to be going any higher than that and then you can use these gauges to further reduce the pressure down to 2 bar which is where your spraying pressure is. The SATA Adam also has a unique ID code which is engraved on the side of it which is quite handy just in case if you do have a couple of these in the workshop for different painters they can identify whose is who which is definitely uh, comes in handy. And the air supplied to the Adam is through this little hole here and just to make sure when you are using these if you do have any problems with the pressure or anything or if you find that it's leaking or anything like that just double check to make sure you've got the, this, this little black seal here and the clip as well um, because that could cause some trouble if they're missing um, and that could be some you know, reason why it might not be working properly